friends, we are going to work on Tears in Heaven today. This is the simplified version of Tears in Heaven. We'll do the more complicated one later. There's only four different parts that you need to know to be able to play the song. The first one is the introduction. Then we play the verse. Right after that, there's a chorus. Last of all, a bridge. What we do is we play the introduction, verse 1, the chorus. Then we play the introduction again, right before verse 2, and another chorus. We play the introduction again, and then there's a contrasting section called the bridge. This goes right into the lead, which is basically the verse, without the singing. And then we have a chorus right after that. This goes into another intro. We repeat verse 1 again, and a chorus. And right at the end of that chorus, we do something called a coda, or a tag. This is where we actually go back to the last line of the last chorus, sing that, and then we have an intro at the end. And that's it. Now let's go right into teaching you the intro, and we'll get a close-up here. The first chord we have in the introduction is an A chord. I'm doing it with one finger instead of three fingers. A chord, going to an E chord, going to an F sharp minor chord. Now, an F sharp minor is a bar chord, but we're doing it with just one finger because we want the E string on the second fret, and then we're going to push down on the E string, the high E string on the second fret, the B string on the second fret, and the G string on the second fret. And I'll show you the right hand in just a minute how I actually access that. And then we open up that E string and make it open E, like that, with those three notes in the F sharp minor chord. And then we have a D chord, and then an E chord, and an A chord, just like that. For the intro, we've got our A chord. This is a really good picking pattern to use on this song, if you can do that. I call it rocking back and forth. Now you've got your thumb on the A string, like that, your uh, index finger on the D string, and then these two fingers on the G string and the B string, right? Your in, uh, middle finger and your ring finger. So it's thumb, index, middle ring, index. And we're going to use this picking pattern all the way through the song. E chord. Now what I did was I left my fingers on the D, G, and B strings and I put my thumb on the E string to pick up that bass note when I played the E chord. So A, E, F sharp minor, F sharp minor with an E bass, and then we have a D chord, E chord, A chord, and do that twice. So it goes like this. sharp minor 7. I'm actually playing the low F sharp note and these three notes instead of the in, uh, second, third, and fourth strings. I'm playing the first, second, and third strings with my index middle ring like that. And then we got the 
E bass, F sharp minor 7 with an E bass, then we go to the D chord. If I saw you in heaven. And then we have a chorus, and we go back to the F sharp minor 7. Now we've got our second fret on the E string played with our first finger. And remember, we're doing a bar, so I'm playing, I'm playing the second fret on the E string, second fret on the B string, fret, second fret on the G string with one finger. I must be strong. Now what I'm doing is I'm playing the first fret here on the E string, and it looks like a D chord right there. Here's a D chord, right? We bring that back, back one fret like this, and it's called a C sharp chord. But I'm only playing the E, the B, and the G string. I'm not playing the A string open. I'm not playing the, excuse me, the D string or the A string. I'm playing the, the E string right here on the first fret. And I'm only plucking those, and I'll show you the right hand in just a minute. So it goes F sharp minor seven. I must be strong. And then I play an, it's called an A7 with an E bass. I'm playing a low E string with these three notes, and I'm only pressing down right there on that one fret, the second fret on the B string. The E string is open, the G string is open. And carry on. Then I go to F sharp. Now this chord is just like F, but it's one fret up. here, B minor 7. This is the easy B minor 7 with the first finger on the A string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G string 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the E string 2nd fret, every other string. No, I don't belong. Now we have a D with an E bass, so we're playing this low E string again. E bass, D chord, back into the introduction. Let's see, where do I go from there? Oh, D. Okay, let's go to the right hand, and I'll show you that. Here's the chorus, F sharp minor 7. I'm still using that rocking motion like we talked about earlier. sharp minor 7 to C sharp with an E sharp bass or an F bass. Strong. And carry. That's A7 with an E bass. Oh. F sharp. Cause I... B minor 7. No. chord, those three strings right there, Here in heaven. and play the introduction again, F sharp minor, D, E, A. Here's the right hand uh, picking pattern on the bridge so you can see it. Time can bring you down, time can bend your knees. E minor, back to C. Time can break your heart, have you beg and please, beg and please. E, F sharp minor. Is it over? That was Tears in Heaven. That was the easy version. We're going to be coming out with a harder version very soon, probably next month or something like that, so watch for that. Um, there's a lead sheet in the description of this video, so look at it online or print it out or whatever you want to do. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you soon. I'm going to get back to editing 
uh, the harder version right now. Ooh. 